these are the references to somatosensory and biological mechanisms, basically things we can touch and feel, pain perception, sensory, and you'll see they're all in yellow, um, sensory sig signaling systems from the cutaneous nerves, from our viscera, musculoskeletal inputs, right, our motor units. As I move, my brain's processing, I'm moving, is somebody perceiving that as a threat or not? How's that adding to their pain experience? Action, there's involuntary and voluntary actions, right? Some of the biological mechanisms, stress mechanisms, cortisol in our body, and things like that. So these are the sensory and biological references in the neural matrix. S here, that stands for sensory. This is what this is. In. Um, these are the psychosocial references, right? And you'll see there's cognitive, so what we think kind of with our, I'll say logical mind, even though we're not exactly logical creatures, human beings, <laughs> we'll call it that. So an affective, meaning emotions. So these are those references. Um, memories of past experience, again, these are all playing into our filters. This is happening constantly, as long as you're conscious of it, right? Or, I mean, you don't have to be consciously aware, but as long as you're conscious and awake for the most part, these are inputs coming in, these are outputs, but they're constantly swirling about. Sometimes the outputs might change the inputs, how we perceive it. Right? So these are all kind of spinning. It's like a big soup. There's a lot of different ingredients in that soup, but once that soup is kind of blended and cooked, you can taste some of the, in the individual ingredients sometimes, but it's very hard to just say, I'm just gonna take the salt out of the soup. It's part of the experience. Sometimes I look at this, since we're talking about soup, is see like carrots, anchovies, and salt <laughs> um, for the cognitive sensory and afferent because it's this mix of stuff happening all the time that adds like a particular flavor to the experience. Is it pain? Is it pleasurable? Somewhere in between. As you are eating and processing whatever ingredients are in the soup, you're also forming opinions about it. You might decide to, oh, maybe this actually needs a little bit more salt. But this is kind of what our, whether you're consciously aware of it at the time, this is what's happening inside us at all points as we form experiences about things, okay? So some of the inputs, again, are carrots, cognitive-related brain regions, a little salt, sensory bits, and our anchovies. So these are all the inputs that are coming into the soup here. I'm letting it, timelines, the cooking time. The soup is here. Right? That's the, that wheel you were looking at before, okay? And now what the outputs could be like are what you think of the soup, for instance, okay? So I think this goes on and on for a bit, right? Another way of looking at the neural matrix. Oh, I need a lot of little clicky animations. Here we go. Again, your thumbs up, thumbs down. Do we like it? Do we not like it? Right? In here on this side, our inputs are already our preconceived notions about the soup. That's an input too. It can be an output, but it's also before I even go to this, do I like soup to begin with? Have I already form the judgment about the soup that is going to influence, right? that's going to influence the output. Is it going to confirm my bias about the soup? I knew it, anchovies were disgusting. Right? Or will it change it? It's like, oh, Sheila, I don't know what you did, but I never liked anchovies before. You uh, gave me a new experience of them. So all those things, your opinions are also coming into play. Okay. These inputs could be anything. They don't have to be carrots, salt, and anchovies. It could be a clarinet, a saxophone, and an accordion. <laughs> um, however you'd like to look at it. But this center bit, the center wheel, is this all happens in our brains. Okay. It does take, you know, peripheral data, but it's all processed here. Okay. 
Are you going to throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care? Are you going to say, I, I don't like hip hop? I'm going to throw my hands in the air personally, but. <laughs> So the body self neural matrix is not any one of these things. Okay? And I, I love this description from the updated neural matrix, right? It's a single unitary feeling, just as an orchestra produces a unitary sound, right? So you can feel all the different kind of textures of different instruments, but it's the collection of these things kind of moving through time that moves us basically.